Hello, this is Dan Farisi, Editor-in-Chief of Commercial Integrator, and welcome to AV Plus, the podcast for the commercial AV integration industry. I'm really excited today to be joined by Jeff Shelby, who is Director of North American Sales at Sension. Sension by AccuRide are experts in access control, and we're going to talk all about access control and the unique Sension value proposition in this edition of AV Plus. Thank you so much for joining us today. As always, please like and subscribe to our YouTube page, and please subscribe to the AV Plus podcast on Apple and on Spotify. So happy to be joined today on the AV Plus podcast by Jeff Shelby, who is Director of North American Sales with Sension. Really excited to talk about Sension by AccuRide, and thank you for joining me to do that, Jeff. My pleasure. My pleasure. Welcome to the forum. So uh, I know we're going to be talking about access control today and the, the very special ways that uh, Sension by AccuRide uh, can serve customers across residential, across commercial. Um, give me a sense to start, knowing that you play in both categories, how access control needs and how access control applications differ in residential versus in commercial. Well, in the residential, we've seen a marked uptake. It, it's by far our highest volume segment. Uh, obviously, the, the deal size is a little smaller. Uh, but, but people, COVID really changed uh, how, how homeowners you know, are living their lives. And uh, maybe they had to bring folks home uh, that were at risk that normally would have been in daycare centers or uh, you know, some sort of rehab facility. So they had to rethink their security profile for their homes. Um, you know, whether that's you know, high-end jewelry, we do a lot of closets. Um, and home automation is really sparking you know, that entire genre to look about how I can control my entire home from a keyboard. Mm -hmm. And so the beauty of our products is they're, they're at home with a access control integration as they are in a standalone using my control circuitry, which most residentials will do, simply wanting to add security there to their closet, their watch collection, et cetera. Very easy to deploy, uh, very modular, and relatively low cost. Uh, on the other side, you have an integrator who oftentimes has overlooked all of the openings behind a door. You know, in a hospital, we did a study with Kaiser, there's an average of 60 openings behind every ward door. Hmm. Uh, and it's overlooked revenue potential for the integrator community. So commercial, again, driven largely by COVID, you know, who's touching, who's cleaning, who's sharing keys, all of the things we've taken for granted for years. COVID really brought that to the forefront. How do we get to a touchless storage solution? And that is becoming so important these days. I mean, it in the, and obviously it's understandable in the context of the ongoing pandemic, but touchless has become such a key buzz point in the commercial segment, which obviously commercial integrator covers every day, every different environment, every different vertical. So to be able to speak to that, I think it's, it's just incredibly resonant with the audience that we're hearing from right now. Yeah, it, you know, and again, we, we took a lot for granted in it. Think about a retail environment. Uh, we're in one of the large cellular retailers you know, they're sharing keys amongst 30 or 40 employees, you know, beyond the key management and the key security issues. Hey, wait a minute, there's this thing called COVID and or it could be the flu or just normal uh, health challenges. We've kind of bypassed that and not really given that a lot of thought, but that's really at, at the forefront now in, the, in a retail environment. So you, you've alluded to a couple of different verticals at this point. You mentioned hospital environments. You mentioned retail environments. Before we started recording, we were talking about airports, things of that nature. Can you talk about some of the different verticals? And it could be all verticals, but can you highlight some that you see as particularly strong opportunities for integrators and particularly integrators who are partnering with Sension by AccuRide um, and why those verticals are particularly appealing, why they're ripe for integrators to make some money? Uh, well, you know, morals and ethics aside, you know, cannabis is a booming industry, um, flush with cash, uh, and it's an industry that needs to evolve quickly to help validate 
the industry itself. Uh, it's very much a tight knit community uh, where the, you know, they want to weed out the bad actors. They want to instill best practices as quickly as they can in the industry. Mm -hmm. And they were largely unaffected by COVID uh, because these folks have, you know, legal commitments to open. Um, and they've got years invested. Uh, and, you know, how do we accomplish, uh, you know, the timeline we've set for ourselves, stay on track, but more importantly, stay compliant. You know, in many states, uh, they're under the microscope. People are looking for them to make mistakes. And the integrator community, uh, you know, needs to be a trusted partner along with Sension to help these people along that journey and add the level of security and audit trail to the transactions. Uh, up to now, people spend a lot of time talking about point of sale information, but where's the transaction information, the actual touching of the product? Mm -hmm. So that's where we come into play and we add not only discrete industrial grade security, but we help them augment their compliance. And you think about a, a dispensary, if, if an employee quits and takes the keys with them, I'm out of compliant and I can be closed down immediately. Absolutely. So an integrator could tie our systems into the greater access control and in, in a matter of seconds, remove that credential. Now I'm compliant again. So cannabis is very heightened sense of compliance, which is causing a great deal of demand for our product. Uh, healthcare is another one. Some of the issues that we talked about. A lot of renovation going on. How do I add increased security at the cabinet level while remaining HIPAA or Medi-Cal or Medicare compliant? Uh, I, need, I need something I can tie into and leverage that extensive access control system that your integrator community is already installing. So it changes their sales proposition to their customers. I now can control every opening in your building leveraging that backbone that I'm installing. So one thing that I'm aware of when it comes to uh, Sension by AccuRide is how much value you seek to provide to your partners. It seems like something that's really core to you organizationally. So I want to talk a little bit about how you partner with integrators, the degree of investment that you give them and the, the degree of value that you provide. I know on your website, you talk about from concept to completion and beyond. Can you talk about some of the ways that you partner and serve your, your integrators? Certainly, um, you know, many of these programs have a very long gestation period. I don't need to, uh, that's not a news flash to your, your uh, clientele, uh, you know, hospitals, universities, these are years in the planning phases. Um, and so if not Sension, it's important your community finds a partner that's in it for the long haul. And we really pride ourselves that, you know, we oftentimes, start with a, a sketch on a napkin. And then that leads through to ele you know, formal elevation drawings, floor plans. Uh, and then our team will overlay our circuitry right into those drawings. So that now becomes a more robust, more complete business proposal or quote by your community to their customers. Uh, it helps them, the customers visualize how this system is going to work in total from the front door to the cabinet door on floor four in ward two. That complete solution is what we offer and support. And what, speaking of support, what about you know, support from Sension's team to integrators, to end user customers, training, things of that nature? Um, what is your, your build out in terms of providing that kind of, the, the training and support that people are looking for? Uh, well, you know, obviously COVID uh, changed all of our uh, go-to-market strategies. So the hundreds of Zooms uh, we've done over the last couple <laughs> of years, um, you know, if we're not able to do it in person, we're Zooming all the time. Again, starting, uh, depending on where that integrator is in the, the, the process, uh, you know, how do we start with <clears throat> what power is going to be required? How do we get that power there? How am I going to terminate, terminate that? What hardware are you using? 
and what can we do to help you understand how the, the you know, the third party products all play together to control our products. Um, and then again, I mentioned our layouts. Um, we can re we continually revise those as products evolve, as they all do, uh, or scope, scope creep, as is often used in the in the industry. Um, so it, it's really, you know, I, I can't stress enough that uh, we're not just going to sell the product and go away because we we again we're part of Accuride. We've dominated an industry for sixty years. We've been in the long haul with. Uh, the entire building industry for decades, uh, and that carries over to the Sension brand. We don't sell products, we sell long-term solutions. And it's why, you know, some of these large chains are using our products five years later on new construction and retrofit. I think that product versus solution dichotomy is so important too because you know integrators these days i think they the best of them at least don't think of themselves as product installers or product integrators they view themselves as solution providers as experience creators mm -hmm. so a brand like sension by accurate i think really captures a lot of that zeitgeist when it says we're not going to sell you products what we're trying to do is solve your problems what we're trying to do is give you a solution that seems yeah. to have a lot of equity these days there's a lot of purchase these days yeah and and one-stop shopping you know when you hospitals and customers as a whole in the commercial space their job is to commoditize your your products and service uh and therefore try and leverage price right so mm -hmm. what we try to do is is help round out the offering and the complete solution that an integrator can provide you know, all companies are trying to reduce their vendor base, right? Uh, and now with the, the challenges in the, in the supply chain, you know, I need partners that are going to be there and partners that can provide me everything I need. I don't want service contracts with five or six different, uh, you know, integrators based on the commodity type. So if I'm selling a solution, uh, you know, I've now created a, a much deeper relationship with the customer a stickier relationship with that customer, which is good for all parties. Um, but to your point, we sell solutions. This is not a commodity product. It's a highly adaptable product to be part of a greater solution. So I want to talk about the product a little bit, but I just want to start with innovation. That's what I want to start with. And I know that uh, Sension by Accuride has a quite a few patents to its name. I'm just looking at the website now, and I think you have nine US patents, a slew of foreign patents across Canada, Germany, Japan, China, Taiwan, et cetera. Um, just talk about that kind of, uh, that R&D equity that you have within your walls, that, that those incredible minds that produce this genuinely revolutionary uh, solution. Well, as I mentioned, you know, it, it's basically the inventor of an industry called the ball bearing drawer slide, uh, Accurite been kind of at the forefront of all things that open and close uh, in a fixture uh, or an appliance or in a car. You know, Accurite's, uh, you know, 10 miles wide and 50 miles deep with most of the major OEMs in the world. And what that led to is the a, a amount of trust and innovation uh, and customization of products where those customers started saying, hey, I'd like to lock this slide that I've been using for 30 or 40 years. Could you come up with something for us? And that's, that was the genesis of Sension was an OEM lock uh, that our trusted valued partners could leverage because they had an established engineering relationship with the Accuride companies. Let's, again, let's evolve. Let's provide a greater solution to the OEM beyond a part. And that then that led to folks who wa wanted control of that lock. Uh, and that's how Sension was born. So we created, you know, an RFID based system where I provide all of the control, the power, <clears throat> the circuitry, a highly modular control, a great deal of openings. Um, if you don't have your own control system, but again, our, our products are all based off of 60 year Accuride technology. Uh, the right. greatest solution we have is an integrated patented slide 
with a patented lock, uh, you know, as part of that assembly. So now the security is no longer at the front of an opening, it's part of the fixture itself. So that's where we get such a robust, you know, some of our locks, <coughs> excuse me, have up to an 800 pound brake force. Uh, and, you know, the best testimony we've had in recent years was unfortunately during some of the rioting that occurred uh, a year or so ago, one of our large retailers, the looters didn't, couldn't see that there was any security on the cabinets because everything is hidden. Uh, so they bypassed those fixtures and looted other fixtures. And what they had walked past was hundreds of thousands of dollars of cell phones <laughs> um, because it's discreet, it's industrial grade. You would literally have to destroy the cabinetry to open it before the Sancion product would fail. That is incredible. Uh, and that is a real testament to the quality of the product. Um, so we were talking about, you know, what Sension's offerings are as more kind of systems and solutions. Did you want to get into a little bit about Sension One, Sension Plus, Sension Core, some of what those solutions are? Well, certainly, certainly. Um, I'll, I'll kind of work them uh, <clears throat> from finish to start or, or backwards from the way you mentioned. So if you think about Sension Core, we call it that because it's a, my products, my locking hardware will be at the core of an enterprise control system. So that's how you would leverage, as I said before, you'd leverage a backbone or infrastructure that already exists in the customer facility. And, you know, my locks are going to be viewed the way any sensor or other door would be controlled. So I can, again, I've got all those user profiles and user management already established, and I'm just going to expand the number of openings down to the medicine, the PPE storage, uh, you know, whatever is in that facility, leveraging my enterprise system. So if I don't have an enterprise or in the case where I can't, I don't have the the margin in the functionality of my enterprise, but I need that security within that ward. Uh, you know, oftentimes in healthcare, some of the floors are leased to third party, you know, mental health providers or something. So it's very difficult to tie into the building's enterprise, but I need that level of security. So we invented Sension One, where it's the same hardware, same locking hardware, but now I provide the reader, the controller, the power, and all of the circuitry to make that system function. Uh, very straightforward, very easy to deploy. One reader can control up to 30 openings simultaneously. And in wow. most, most certainly in most residential and retail, that's satisfactory. But what if I need audit trail? I need enterprise-like functionality who, what, where, and when. So that led to the evolution of Sension Plus, our marquee system. So same premise, I provide all of the locking hardware, I provide the reader, I provide the power, but now I have intelligence that tracks the user behavior in that fixture. So if you think, you know, we talked cannabis, you've got different levels of compliance for different types of products. Well, how do I do that in a large 15 foot retail display? Mm -hmm. uh, I can put dual authentication on the flower if that's required in my municipality. I can say only the manager can open this drawer and the employee can open that drawer. So I can set discrete levels of authority uh, based on the job function. And I capture all of that data in an audit trail. So back to the compliance thing, whether it be medical, for various classes of drugs where I need to have an audit trail and dual locks, um, or you know, just broader healthcare <clears throat> where they want an audit trail for everything. You know, I know when the employee came in the door, I know when they entered the ward, I, I know when they entered the drugs. So I have a complete blockchain for my facility now, uh, should I ever need it. And it, knock on wood, unfortunately, the audit trail is usually needed after an event uh, you know, to help validate that the security procedures were in place and were being followed. 
And the new Sense M Plus system is completely wireless uh, and real-time data. So if I'm a store owner and I own six stores across the Southwest, I could monitor the activity in all of those stores from my laptop at the beach. That is a very powerful value proposition. And I feel like over the past 20 minutes or so, we've kind of, I think, whetted integrators' appetites if they're not looking at this opportunity to make them realize that there's money being left on the table and clients who can be served very well, especially by you know partnering, as you say, with Sension by Accuride. Can you just kind of button it up, though, and give us a sense for integrators who are not that familiar with access control, maybe have not really you know, built out that aspect of their business, why it's an opportunity that they do not want to let slip through their fingers? Uh, well, you know, one stop shopping, right? If, if, if you don't provide all the solutions to your customer, that opens the door for the competition to come in, maybe under the premise of selling cabinet security. But then they get a look at other opportunities within your customer. And especially like in healthcare, where it takes a long time to become a valued supplier and an approved supplier, you, you, you know, from a business perspective, you don't want the customer shopping around. So how do I sell them everything in their facility from the front door to the cabinet door? You, when you bring Sension in, again, we understand the length of time these projects take. Uh, it doesn't bother us. It doesn't scare us in any way. Uh, we're going to train you. We're going to provide you the collateral you need from the bid package through the installation package uh, and support you downstream. Well, as I say, I, I think it's a very compelling value proposition. And I know the commercial integrators audience, the integrators, the consultants, the other technical professionals who are part of our audience are going to be very compelled by this. And I think are going to be interested in working with Sension in the future. Are there any closing thoughts that you might have about access control, about Sension's unique value proposition, or about how you serve integrators? First and foremost, put us to work. You, you'll be surprised at how much support we provide you, the quality and level of detail we can provide you. Uh, and that once the, once the order is done, as I mentioned before, we have customers that have been using us for years. Uh, we stay in contact with all of our customers. We'll let you broker that conversation if you prefer, uh, but we're in it for the long haul and you won't find very many partners in this industry. We know we have a unique solution but we have a very unique value proposition as well. Uh, and give us a try. Well, thank you so much, Jeff, for summarizing uh, what you were offering, the value proposition, and for uh, coming on the podcast today and informing commercial integrators audience, the AV Plus podcast audience about Sension. I uh, really do appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Enjoyed it. My pleasure to have been joined by Jeff Shelby, who is Director of North American Sales with Sension. And my name is Dan Farisi, Editor-in-Chief of Commercial Integrator. Please check back next week for another edition of the AV Plus Podcast. And please check out CommercialIntegrator.com every day for more great content just like this. <music>